All right, uh, hello. I finally got the uh, Monharo, Monharo, Chiquelo Linux uh, <laughs> installed on my system here. Uh, I had to do a few things differently. Uh, the last one I, I annotated that I couldn't get the Wi-Fi menu. Uh, what I had to do was when I booted into the net install ISO and logged in, I just uh, stopped the network service manager. I didn't disable I just stopped it and then run, ran uh, Wi-Fi dash menu and it picked it up um, So after rebooting I had to do that a few few times until I got a desktop uh, I had problems with the uh, Drivers period it installed the Nuvo NVIDIA open source drivers and I wasn't getting an X uh, service at all. It just wouldn't uh, it just crashed or just closed uh, so Looking around um, The system I found this uh, command which I noticed in uh, when I was installing called B menu and uh, I know there's a GUI uh, But it I don't have it installed so I went to hardware which was option one and as you see here, I selected option four, use non-free graphics. And uh, the screen went blank, so I had to press control alt delete, restarted, and here I am with the screen. Uh, but there are a few things that are different. Um, I tried to install, well, I did install the lib32 for NVIDIA, but there's uh, there's differences between the Mesa versions or something and uh, I installed uh, the 433 kernel uh, which was easy enough to do and it was kind of cool because it upgraded the NVIDIA drivers not to the latest ones but to newer ones basically another thing I'm not sure why this is happening is when I restart the system, not not log out, not actually do a restart. Uh, both displays come up. I only use, I like to use one most of the time. Um, no matter what I do, if I go to display settings in XFCE or through the NVIDIA settings, um, you see it's it's disabled right now. And if I save it to the X config file, maybe it's looking for another directory, um, but in any case it doesn't work it always comes up with the wrong screen as the D as the primary and I had to go through display and disable the other screen I don't know another thing too is screen tearing is happening now as you can see it's uh, I never had that in Linux uh, Linux Arch Linux uh, so like as much as I like Monharo Manjaro I don't think I'm going to keep this on the system, not because I don't have any faith in the developers or anything. It's just uh, I prefer Arch, I believe. In my in my case, I, I've gotten so used to it, I'm kind of stuck in my ways. So, which is unfortunate because everything else works really well. Uh, I was able to trim down the uh, init RAM FS image to get a little faster uh, boot time uh, down to 2.4. And if I do a blame, there's an extra service, oops, uh, called um, System Modules Load Service. Kind of interesting. But it is taking up the highest time. It, um, and we're talking milliseconds, of course. Uh, so I'm not sure what's up with that, but that's okay. Okay, and some more uh, findings is uh, in the Arch Linux documentation, um, you can, as root, run... Uh, NVIDIA X config that might be some of my problems. Maybe I'm not supposed to in Manjaro and then if you want cool bits value I usually set it to four uh, Which is somewhere four is just a there it is uh, thermal settings, but um, if I go to the uh, NVIDIA settings thermal settings, it's not there and the reason for that it's uh, It does have it enabled, but it's in the wrong section option cool bits for under screen it's supposed to be in the device section as I said I like the system it's 
you can set it up the way you like. Uh, maybe I should have used the command line install from downloading the full ISO, and I may do that in the future. But uh, everything is working. They they do provide an LXDM configuration file, which you can run through the command line and have a background, make a transparent panel, untick show menu, and so on. Show user lists. Uh, automatic login. I did that manually through the config file, but. Um, it's nice to see like a little GUI program for that. I haven't installed PAMAC, but it's easy enough uh, through sudo pacman capitalist pam hack uh, instead of installing it through Yard, which is uh, a nice thing. So there's a lot of uh, really uh, cool things about uh, Manjaro, and, and uh, especially I love the B menu. I'll do that again. B. Um, I did try display and and so on. File manager is a, I think is a text based, and so is the browser. Uh, task manager I think that installs uh, HTOP, but uh, I managed to get uh, Mate Meet System Monitor running. Of course, it's up higher in usage because I'm recording, but. So it's around 500 to 600 megs, approximately. Uh, so I would go to Package Manager just to see. Uh, you can update system, optimize mirror, clean package cache, install the packages, and so on. Then in red here, it has force install package, force remove package, and so on. Uh, update the AUR, install from AUR, search and install, and so on. So I, I guess it's a command. Almost this part's almost a command line version of uh, Pamac, maybe. But it's nice to see something like this in here. It's just a little menu that you can refer to. Uh, Defrag uh, database. That's just the uh, Pacman database, of course. Of course. So zero to exit and other settings like configuration, Pacman settings, file system table, login. Set up X init bootloader sudoers MK init and so on. And here's a document I always use in Arch Linux uh, to pull in the 32 NVIDIA stuff. Uh, they did install and uh, VAI info uh, does work, but if I run the open the uh, GLX info for uh, 32 in a terminal. Uh, it comes up with a, basically a kernel. It's not found. No such file or directory. So again, something different and may look into that. Uh, so I can't use GPU test. Well, I can try it, but I don't think it'll work because you need this uh, these utilities installed, especially the Mesa demos. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, Pax uh, Mesa uh, demos. They're already installed. And so is the lib32 Mesa demos. So, okay, see if that installs. And as I said before, the difference is it doesn't ask you to edit or confirm. You just, just confirm to install, it downloads, compiles, and installs, and you're done. The scripts GPU test. Let's see what happens. All right, it's running. Um, it's laggy right now because I'm recording. Wow. <laughs> Um, so I'll edit this part out. Okay, so the end result was 85 frames per second. That's good. That's basically what I usually have in uh, just pure Arch Linux. So that's fine. So GPU test works, and I guess I can try out the NVIDIA cool bits. So there you go. Uh, an overview of uh, the end result of net install of Manjaro Linux. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.